Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, you know, what I find fairly remarkable in this conversation is the amount of consensus uh, from both our witnesses and from people on the dais here that, that we should simply set MOS standards based on the performance that we need for the job and then let the chips fall they, where they may. And sometimes that may, um, in the case, for example, of the military infantry officer school, uh, that's going to be some very, very difficult standards to meet. That said, I have no doubt that someday uh, a, a woman is going to meet those standards. So, General Neller, I wanted to ask you, given your support, previous support for a waiver, do you have any concerns with that kind of approach of simply setting the bar where it needs to be for the performance that you need and then letting the chips fall where they may? Well, Senator, it was brought up by Secretary Mabus, and it's a fact that part of the value of the evaluation we did was to, eva was to come up with these standards. Yeah. So now we have these standards. I mean, there were always standards. There were standards because any, any of these Marines that were involved in the evaluation completed an MOS school, which had task condition standards to which they had to com successfully complete. So it wasn't like there were no standards. To get into the school, the females had to go and pass the male scoring on the male PFT and CFT. So where we are now is we have a decision. You know, we made a, a provide our best military judgment based on what we learned in an, in an evaluation involving teams, crews, and squads, something that has never, ever been done, not just in the history of the United States, but from what we can tell, nowhere. No one ever looked at it in this way. That said, we have a decision, um, and we're in the process of moving out, and we have established a, a process to where any Marine who wants to serve in these physically demanding MOSs has to meet a certain standard. And we will see where the chips fall. Um, and again, our, our hope is that everyone is successful. But Hope is not a course of action on the battlefield. So we'll learn and we'll study and we'll, we'll do everything we can because it's important, as General Milley brought up and everybody's brought up, that we, we have to be successful on the battlefield. And Marines have always been successful on the battlefield, and I'm confident we will in the future.